Hello and welcome to the MacFAQ, where we learn all kinds of useful stuff about how to use Macs, how to use Apple devices, how to use technology in general uh, to either make our lives easier or, if you're a teacher, to make your teaching easier. Uh, some stuff here is going to be specifically for teachers, other stuff is going to be for pretty much everybody. Um, today's video is going to focus a little bit about on teacher stuff, but anybody can use this information. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to use Google Docs forms to collect information and deal with it in kind of a useful way. So the example that I'm going to use is something that I use in my classroom every day to uh, collect information from students who are leaving the room. So I used to have a little sign out sheet where students would come up and sign out to tell me where they were going when they left my room. But it got kind of unwieldy after an entire year of collecting binders upon binders of students signing out. And that data was really hard to deal with. It was hard to search through. It was hard to find any information that was useful. And so what we're going to do is make a form that we can put on our website where students can go and just sign out when they're ready to leave the room. And it will collect a whole bunch of information and let us do some useful stuff with it. So um, what we're going to do is get started by going to Google Docs, which you can find right here at docs.google.com. And if you don't have a Google account, then go ahead and make one and then come right back and we'll continue. But um, for those of us that do have a Google account, this is what we'll see when we first head over to Google Docs before we've created any documents or anything. Then the first place we're always going to look when we get here is this Create New button. And that's going to let us create something new. So when we open that up, you see we have a bunch of options for new stuff that we can make. We can make a document or a presentation or a spreadsheet. All those three are stuff you should be familiar with if you've ever used Microsoft Office. Um, it's all the same stuff. And then we've got a few other options that are going to be useful for us. And today what we're going to do is we're going to make a form. Now, uh, what a form does is it creates a web page where we can type in some information. And then that information will get collected in a spreadsheet. So if I have a form for my students when they sign out of the room that collects their name, where they're going, and whether they're leaving or coming back, then the result is going to be a spreadsheet where I can see all of that information in a bunch of columns and I can reorder it or do whatever I want with it. I'll be able to see um, how many times a certain kid left over the course of the semester. I can see how long they were gone for. I can see how many people left the room during each class period. I can see all kinds of useful information. So I'm going to go to the Create New button. And when I click on it, I'm going to choose Form. And now we're creating a new form. Um, so you can see that there's kind of a blank form right here, and we're just going to fill that out. Uh, up at the top where it says Untitled Form, we're going to put in our title, which will be Sign Out Sheet. And then right down here, it says you can include text or info that will help people fill this out. So I might just say, please fill out this form. Tell me where you're going. Uh, so that, that text will show up as like subtitle text under the, the title here. And we get a couple of sample questions that we can change to make into whatever we want. Or we can just add our own questions up here where it says add item in the top left. So we'll get to that in a minute. But for right now, we're going to use the sample questions. So let's start with the first one. Um, my question title is going to be the question itself. So I might say, uh, what's your name? And then under help text, I can add any information that might make it easier for a student to answer that question. So in this case, I'm going to say something like uh, first and last name, please. That way they know they need to give me their whole name. Uh, question type asks me what kind of answer I'm supposed to be um, getting. I know that seems kind of counterintuitive. But if you look at the options, it makes sense. If I look under question type, there are a bunch of types of questions that I can ask. And I can collect different data from each one. So in this case, I want to ask a text question because I'm just going to have a short answer. And Google even shows me a nice little diagram of what the answer is going to look like. They can just type their name into that little box, and that'll be fine. Um, now, there's a box down here that says, make this a required question. And I'm going to want to check that because whenever a question is required, that means a student can't submit that form unless that question is answered. So in this case, I don't really want to collect any information from a student who doesn't give me their name. So I am going to make this a required question. So they cannot submit their sign-out sheet unless they give me their name. And then I'll just click Done, because that question's all finished. And you'll see for each of these questions, I have three buttons over here on the right side. The first button is the Edit button. So if I click on that, I'm going to get right back to where I was, where I'm editing that question. The second button 
is the duplicate button. So if I'm gonna ask another question that's gonna be the same or similar, I might click duplicate, and now I have another copy of that first question. So maybe I could ask you know, something very similar. And then the third button right here is the trash or delete button. So if I click that, my question will be deleted. And I even get this little box right here that says, are you sure you wanna discard this question? Well, yes I am, so I'm gonna click OK. So there's our first question, what's your name? Now the other pieces of information that we wanna collect are, what time is it? Where are you going? And are you leaving or are you coming back? Now that first piece, what time is it, is actually conveniently handled by Google. Now Google knows when your, your student clicks that button to submit their form, so instead of asking them what time it is, you can actually just go to your spreadsheet and Google will tell you what time and date that form is submitted. Very useful because it means you're always gonna have a very exact time. Um, so we don't even have to ask that. Uh, so what's the next question on our list? The next question is, let's see if I can remember here, um, where are you going? That's the next question. So we'll just pop into sample question two right here. We'll click the edit button to open it up. And then we'll put in that question. Where are you going? And I don't think we need any help text. I think that's pretty specific. And then under question type, um, we'll get a nice short answer again. I'll make that required because the student needs to tell me where they're going or they can't submit the form. And then I'll click done. Okay, so I've got two questions finished. The last one I need is are you leaving or are you returning? In my class, when a student leaves, they do the sign out sheet, they fill it out, and then when they come back, they fill it out again and tell me that they're returning. That way I always know what time that student left and what time they came back. I can make sure they did come back. So uh, I don't have any more sample questions here, so I'm gonna have to add an item, or add a question the way I usually would, which is with this add item button up at the top. So if I click on that, you'll see I have those same seven options for what kinds of questions I can have. So in this case, maybe a text answer isn't the best because they're really only gonna have two options. And I don't wanna open it up so that they can leave me you know, a lot of different information. I just want one option or the other. So I'm actually gonna choose choose from a list. So they can see a list of all the options that are available and they can choose one. So the question title will be, are you leaving or returning? And the options in the list will be down here in these little Bars, and they're going to be leaving or returning. Okay, so I can have as many options as I want. I just keep clicking, click to add option whenever I want to add one. But leaving and returning is all I need here. And I want to make this a required question as well. Click done. And that's our form. Nice and simple. Three questions. Um, it's even saving it for us. If we wanted to save, we could click this save button right up at the top. But um, Google even saved this for us. Now you'll see if I go back to my Google Docs page, I now have this form called sign out sheet. This little icon represents a form. So if I were to close this page, that's not really a big deal because it's already there in my Google Docs window. Now if I click on it, I'm not gonna get taken to the form. I'm actually gonna get taken to the spreadsheet that collects all that data. So you see I have four columns here. Timestamp, that's the time and date that they left or that they submitted the form. I have three questions. What's your name? Where are you going? And are you leaving or returning? So I'll show you what that looks like for a student by looking at the actual form. Um, so this, is, this spreadsheet is what you're going to see as the person who created the form. But uh, for a student, what they're going to see is the form itself. Now if I go to the form menu right here in the spreadsheet and choose go to live form, that's going to take me to the page that that form actually exists at. And this is what your students will see. So if I were gonna put in my name, I might say my name is um, Bob Boberson. I might say I'm going to the bathroom and I'm leaving. And then I can click Submit. And your student will only have an option to go back to the form and fill it out again. But if you go to your spreadsheet, there is your entry for Bob Boberson leaving to go to the bathroom, and he did it at 10.46.09 a.m. So as this thing fills up, and you get more and more and more data in here, you can start to do some really cool stuff, and we'll talk about all that in later videos. But um, I hope this has been helpful, and uh, stick around for later videos if you want to learn how to sort through all this data, and if you want to learn how to put this form on your website. So we'll see you later.